Hello, in this video I'm going to show the home screen tricks on iPhone 17 Pro Max. Okay, we can begin with the customization of our apps uh, and the uh, colors. So to do it, to open up the menu, simply hold on an empty space on your home screen. Now click on the edit and let's click on customize. In here we can select the default dark, clear or tinted theme. You can see how each mode looks like. But when we will go into the tinted, in here we have the best things. When we will select the first option, the iPhone will select the same palette of colors uh, that it has on its back. That is really, really cool. The iPhone notes, notes that it's gray. I can even show you that. Or even, I don't know, maybe it's blue. <laughs> I don't know. But simply the iPhone knows wh uh, which color it has of its back. And when you select on that icon, uh, the iPhone will automatically select the same color for the icons. That is really, really cool, uh, cool feature. Same thing with the second icon, but that mm, is about our case. Uh, if you want to use that feature, you need to use the ded dedicated uh, iPhone uh, case. Uh, in my case, I have the clear, uh, clear case. I will show you. Uh, and that is why the iPhone has set the uh, clear uh, icons. <laughs> uh, so. That's how we can adjust, adjust that. If you click on the third uh, icon, you can manually simply select the color that you want. And when you click on the uh, last icon, you can select uh, the, uh, for, uh, the color uh, based on your uh, lock screen. Currently on my lock screen, uh, I have a uh, dark, uh, dark photo. It's like uh, sitting in the midnight, so there's no uh, much colors. But in here, when I'll select uh, maybe this part of the screen, I'll release. Uh, you can see that uh, the color has been set into uh, some kind of a gray. So that's uh, how this mode uh, works. Uh, for now, I'll stick to the default. Also, we can select the uh, app's uh, size. When you click on that icon, you can make them bigger or go into the previous and default size. So simply you need to select which mode you want to use. Uh, okay, again, let's hold, click on the edit, uh, and I'll show you uh, the possibility to create a widgets. If you click on add widget, uh, in here you have a list of apps of which you can create a widget. So for example, let's select uh, and add a widget, for example, of our... Mm, I don't know what, actually. Maybe those... Uh, those... Talks? All right, now select its size. As you can see, we have uh, up like uh, one, two, three, uh, six uh, possible sizes. I'll select, for example, that one, click on add, and as you can see, it appeared on our home screen. Uh, you just need to remember that uh, it, it requires some space to create a widget. Of course, you can place it anywhere that you want. Simply hold on it. And now let's go into the next page, for example, uh, in here, then release, and you can see that our widget has been created. You can also see this small bar on its edge and we can also adjust its size manually, just like that. To save it, click on done. Okay, also we can create a stack of widgets. Uh, as you take a look, uh, in my case, uh, on the main page, I have the calendar right in here, but when I'll slide to the upside, I'm switching between photos and the news. That is because I have the stack created. We can, of course, edit it or uh, create it completely uh, or, cre or create completely a new one. Uh, let's edit this one. Uh, let's hold on it and let's click on edit stack. Uh, now you can enable the smart rotate. That's the gesture that I was showing you at uh, the sliding move to uh, switch between the widgets uh, or we can uh, turn off the widget suggestion. To add a new widget, click on the plus button on the top and now select the widget that you want to add. Uh, but you need to remember that if you want to use, uh, if you want to add another widget into the stack, it needs to have the same size. So for example, let's add the battery, click the add widget, let's click on done, and as you can see, it has been successfully added and it's right in here. Really cool thing. Uh, okay, uh, as we hold and click on edit, I'm wondering if there is something more that I want to show you. Uh, yeah, we can unblur our wallpaper, click on the edit, uh, edit wallpaper, and you can unblur it if you want, just like that. If you click on the photo, you can add a new, uh, a new uh, 
wallpaper from your gallery. So for example, let's select that. Okay. Click on done to save. And Okay, then select it once again, and as you can see, it has been successfully changed. Okay, for now I will blur it again. Okay, uh, and now, next thing. Mm. We can also uh, customize our lock screen, I will show you that in that video, uh, with a pretty cool, uh, in a pretty cool way. Uh, of course, if you want, you can click again in the edit button and you can also edit the pages. Uh, for example, change their uh, placement, just like that. Oh, that's an example how you can do it. Okay, uh, now um, I'll show you a cool, cool, cool things that we can do with our lock screen. Uh, so let's hold on it to launch the menu. Okay, uh, let's select... Uh, I'll even delete those previous ones okay and let's add a new one let's click the plus button and let's click on the photos first and I want you to show and I want to show you the uh, 3d effect that we can set for our uh, wallpaper mm, to do it let me only adjust maybe the brightness a little okay uh, back into the photos let's select for example this photo and in here, uh, under my finger, you can see that we have uh, this icon. When you click on that, now it will generate a special scene. Thanks to that, we will have a cool 3D effect of our uh, lock screen. As you can see, now when I'm moving, we have this uh, 3D effect of our, um, of our lock screen. In my case, it looks really, really, really cool and I highly recommend uh, turning this feature on. But you need to remember that it drains more battery. Pretty cool effect. A uh, similar thing uh, we can do with our clock when the 3D mode uh, is enabled. I click on your uh, clock and make sure that you are using the basic font. Uh, and now when we will expand the clock, you can see that it's going uh, behind uh, those uh, two characters. That's uh, all of because that they are uh, in, the, in the front and now uh, and th that's also thanks to the 3D effect. So that's how we can adjust uh, our clock. And in my opinion, it looks really, really cool. Our clock is simply hidden a little bit behind those characters. To save, simply click on Add. Okay, click on Set as Wallpaper Pair, and now it will work. We can also uh, add the Photo Shuffle, which is also a really cool thing. To do it, let's click on the plus. Let's click on the Photo Shuffle. I'll choose manually the photos. Uh, let's add, for example, this photo as a lock screen, and uh, then maybe mm, that one, and the last, let it be... I don't know what, actually, maybe that. Okay, now to save it, click uh, this button. Okay, we can also, of course, enable the special scene for each uh, each uh, each photo uh, if you click on those three dots next to it we can select the shuffle frequency uh, hourly unlock on tap or daily for now I will select on tap uh, and now mm, you might then not, uh, not know that uh, for example when on this lock screen when we are in the fo photo shuffle mode when we will change the size of the clock, for example, into the max, then we will change into this one and we'll make it smaller. And then we'll go into the last one and, for example, make it in the middle. And now when we will add it, add our new uh, lock screen. And now when I will tap, you can see that each time that I'm changing uh, the lock screen, also the size uh, of our clock is changing And it looks really, really, really cool in my opinion. All right, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.